Now, News Channel 11 Sports with Kane O'Neill. ETSU came up just shy of the NCAA tournament a year ago, falling to Chattanooga in the Southern Conference Championship game. The Bucks had a chance at redemption tonight in Asheville, facing UNC Greensboro, hoping to dust off their dancing shoes. Bucks looking to make their first trip to the tournament since 2010, and this one proving to be another tough battle against the Spartans. Trading buckets early. Tevin Glass's shot blocked, but gets it right back and drops it in. Bucks up 4-2. to two. UNCG heating up. Up 3. Francis Alonzo burying the tray. Spartans take a 16-10 to 10 lead. Bucks keeping this game close in the first. Hunter Mosquera Perea with the one-handed jam. Bucks head into the locker room down 38-31. to 31. Perea with more fireworks out of the break, throwing down the alley-oop. He had 12 tonight. The Spartans saying we can do that too. R.J. White, the flush and the foul. Spartans up 40 to 35. But here come the Bucks down just two. David Burrell for three. Got it. ETSU taking a 51 to 50 lead. And Burrell getting it done on defense as well. The big time block. And T.J. Cromer taking advantage, finishing with the lay-in on the other end. Part of his team high, 23 points. And the Bucks stay hot. Merriweather driving to the 10 for two of his 13. Bucks up 55-50. Bucks now up eight with less than 10 to play. Glass bank is open for two. ETSU up by 10. Spartans cut it to a three point game, trying to close it, tie it in the closing seconds. But Alonso's three is no good, and the Bucks get the rebound, break out the dancing shoes. Bucks are going to the NCAA tournament, taking down UNCG 79 74. Kenny Hawkins is in Asheville after tonight's huge win. Kenny, they got their redemption from a season ago. Yeah, that's right, Kane. You know, I've seen these two teams play three times this year. Each game has been a battle, but in the end, the Buccaneers got the one that counted. And with that, the ETSU Buccaneers are the Southern Conference champions after beating UNC Greensboro 79-74. It's just a blessing, man. The Lord blessed us to be in this predicament and had an opportunity to go dancing. Like I said, it's the best feeling in the world right now. In front of almost 6,500 fans, most of them cheering for ETSU, it felt like a home game for the Bucs. It was a great experience. We had It felt like home game. It felt like we was at Freedom Hall, and they could give us credit to the fans for uh, cheering us on and, and being support, supportive of us. I think it's Johnson City South, you know, <laughs> and uh, I, I was just blown away by the um, our fan support. Um, they've just been unbelievable all year long, and they made a big difference in the game. ETSU trailed for most of the first half, but after a halftime speech by Coach Forbes that challenged his players, the Bucks became the aggressor and started turning the game around. Uh, Coach preached before the game, we got to be gritty, tough, and grind it out. We knew we had to pick up the intensity. Like you said, we was down seven going to half, and we knew we had 20 minutes to lay our guts out if we wanted to come out victorious. The Buccaneers' 10th appearance in the NCAA tournament is like a dream come true for Merriweather. Since I was a little kid, you know what I mean? At once I wanted to give up on basketball, but you know what I mean? I stayed with it for this moment right here. You know, it's paid off, man. It's incredible. Now that they're going dancing, the Bucks feel like they can make some noise. That's something that Greg Marshall taught me when I worked for him was you got to have some centers when you get in the tournament play. And I feel like we have that, you know, and so it'll depend on the matchup, and, but uh, we'll be ready to go. Now the question is, where will the Buccaneers play? They got Greenville, Orlando, or Indianapolis, and they should go in as a 13 or 12 seed. Of course, all of those answers will be answered next Sunday on the CBS election show. And you guys missed the celebration, so here it goes. Reporting live from Asheville, North Carolina, I'm Kenny Hawkins for News Channel 11.